Hello and a very warm welcome. This is Gail from Think Skills, and today I would like to tell you about Miro. So you can see here Miro, uh, and probably you heard about it. It's a very powerful uh, brainstorming tool. And um, uh, we've been doing some research with my team to think how it is going to work for training because we actually need to um, change a little bit uh, what we normally do with um, with slides and we're trying to encourage collaborations and produce a face-to-face -face experience and Miro can help not all the time but it can. What does Miro do? So let me just um, see. First it's a powerful um, brainstorming tool so we can um, we can share ideas uh, with everybody connected to a board at the same time. It can be synchronous or asynchronous so the board can be live even when you're not training so it can also be a very good pre-course work. You can link ideas, you can sort ideas uh, in, uh, and, um, and they also give you templates to, to help with, your, with the way you brainstorm. So here you are, we're accessing the, the link, the list of, um, of, uh, of, sorry, of templates that we can use. So here we go. For example, we want to use uh, this one. And we can use it prefix and you can see it's very easy to move things around, adapt, here we go, and it's very flexible. Now obviously it's not really something you can do on the spur of the moment so you're going to have to put some thinking about it in advance. And the nice things about, uh, about it is that you, you can preset document in advance. I'm going to show you something I'm doing for an actual session that maybe some of you will join on the 11th of January. So I'm zooming out and you can see that I've prepared over here a wall flow of, uh, of screens or boards. So those boards, this one, the first one, uh, is the one where we start and it is um, also, we also need to show participants how to use Miro. So I've put a big start here. There is a reminder of the toolbar. There is a video that can be played so they can see what's going on in Let's Miro. Let's talk about the boards in Miro. Here we go. And because it's confinement, it's January 2021 and it's raining, uh, there is a little um, icebreaker about activities where I'm going to ask participants to write where they want to go in their next holiday. Okay, that's mine. Here we go. Um, so, Next, I've prepared another board where I am going to ask my participants uh, to share their ideas. So they're going to write down each on a post-it note uh, those ideas. And during the session, so they can start doing it before the session, they will have access to the uh, to this part of the uh, of the board before the sessions. And you can see when I click here, part of the board is locked. So that means that if participants mess around with the post-it, it's absolutely fine. But the big, um, the key point of the board that I don't want to have to redo again are locked. And we can move things from this board to this board. So, um, so it is, uh, it's kind of ready. You can zoom in and out. Why is our post-it not randomly here? You can zoom in and out so you can see the wall flow of your work. And the mirror board is like, is, is infinite pretty much so you can and select what you want to focus on everything is printable it's also mean that you can uh, for example download um, download and save to post in a community some aspect of your board for a debrief so it is a very we think uh, it is a very powerful tool and it can be very uh, used very well uh, for many type of collaborative experience on management, behavior, leadership, problem solving. Uh, even though if you look at the tutorial, they're very geared towards team meetings and it is also a very valuable tool for team meeting. It can be done, um, it can be done nicely online. So as I said, online, you can combine it with Zoom sharing sharing your screen with uh, the participants and either your product producer can take notes or you can ask the participants to open as well uh, Miro and type at the same time. 
They can come back to it afterwards. It can be linked to post-session activities, for example, and everything you do can be easily saved and uh, for later. Just wanted to show as well a very nice uh, session uh, that you can have your no notes here for the participants to know what the program is about. So a quick refresher so that I found quite powerful for training. Uh, you can have other um, other apps linked to it. Uh, so you can have different type of um, uh, of document. You can upload your pictures, which I did uh, for this screen that we're seeing here. I've upload some pictures. So I've uploaded the screen that I've made on in Canva and I've um, uploaded a screen capture of the whiteboard. Something that uh, you can do as well is uh, add shapes. So for example, if you want to attract attention on, um, on one topic, you can add it. It is all very intuitive. Um, it works quite well. You can change it. Here we go. Uh, you can hyperlink um, to different documents or uh, to uh, videos, and uh, and you uh, you can create frames. So those slides-looking things are frames, but you can also link multiple. Um, um, session so that's a frame and I've set up my frames to be white like slide but they don't have to be uh, so uh, what I would like to say though is that when you run a session remember to explain how it works or get someone like a producer to explain how it works uh, give instructions give an opportunity to practice like an icebreaker and don't put me all, all the time like a slide as often as you can Stop sharing your screen, get your participants to talk, to look at each other. Maybe the producer yourself can take notes on post-it notes or on the board, linking, linking maybe some, some elements uh, of, uh, of the boards together. But, but do emphasize the fact that it is a conversation and regularly Encourage your participants to work together, but always come back to a full screens of video where they can chat. Encourage breakout rooms. You can have uh, participants working together at the same uh, on the same board on different boards. So, for example, this board uh, here can be worked on by breakout room one, whilst breakout room two is working on this one. Everybody can collaborate at the same time. If you have a small group, you could uh, uh, skip Zoom and um, and use the, um, the the screen sharing, the video conference. Um, if you look at the tutorial in Muro, you will notice that they will tell you that it's good up to 20 people. We haven't tried it with many people, so I would say that, yeah, it's good for a rehearsal, it's good for a small group, but probably using Zoom or WebEx um, for the video and the quality of the audio is probably a safest option. Uh, and when your participants are not active or when uh, in between sessions, you can use the comments, which is here, the comment section. Here we go. Here are the comment and add comments on the board or linked comments to information like, for example, this one here, add a comment, uh, and then and then you can make it um, a replacement of your community or something more interactive that eventually you're going to build up to some maybe action taking, some powerful uh, way of capturing information, data, um, capturing processes, capturing ideas. So altogether, a good tool. But remember, it's not about the tool, it's about the learning objectives and what we are set to achieve. So once again, very good for thinking about process, behavior, practice, capturing challenges, moving them into, uh, into different uh, action, um, call for actions, more, more than um, 
a technical kind of if you are doing finance uh, it's probably not the best tool for you uh, if you're doing technical content probably not the best tool but anything where you want people to collaborate play share ideas contribute together definitely a very powerful tool if you want to uh, see it live in actions uh, you can contact us and uh, hopefully we'll see you in one of our programs very soon Thank you very much for listening. It's Gail from uh, ThinkSkills and today we're presenting Miro as a tool for training. Thank you for your time.